Ah man, die feestseizoen is hier. Ons is allemaal lekker opgewonden. En ik zeker baie van jullie het al allemaal gaan denk om je kerstboom uit te krijgen. Of misschien is het al uit. En om lekker te versieren. But this morning we are joined by Karen Smith. And she's going to show us how to make our own very cool decorations to really add that special touch to your Christmas tree. Karen, good morning. Good how are you? I'm fine, thank oh, you. Oh man, I can't believe Christmas is here. It's, it's I know. This year just went past way too quickly. 25 days and we live. 25 days. We started. <laughs> yeah, what is that song? 26 days of Christmas. When I first heard Christmas. Yeah, okay, cool. So, so so what are we actually making? Our, our own homemade little Christmas decorations? Yes, and we're going to make them out of air dry clay today. Air dried so, clay. Air I've dry never clay. worked with air dried clay before. It's actually very easy. It's a bit messy. It's easy. I've been playing from this morning. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So what we need yes. to make these is you need some air dry clay. I've actually been Where would you kneading get them? them a bit. You can get this at uh, most crafts and decor. Okay. Cool. Your data shops. Okay, so we need that. Very oh. important. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've chosen a, a white one, but you also get a terracotta colour. All right. Okay, so you need your plastic board to work on. Don't work on wood because it's porous, so Ooh, it'll actually it help. Is. It'll dry All the clay right. out while you're working cool. with it. You need your rolling pin. That's it. This one's also being used. Um, you need a society stick, which we're going to poke <laughs> a little hole in with. Nice. Um, you need lace. Um, the lace I chose is it's quite a rough texture because you're going to use it to make an imprint on the exactly, clay. So right, you want to use sense. something with a rough tip, yeah. um, tip pattern on it. Um, you need a cookie cutter. So we've got a little This star. is leaning towards baking, almost. It's a little bit, <laughs> <laughs> but don't eat this. No, don't eat this. <laughs> um, okay, so let's start. All right, so, show me um, what we're going to do. We're going to make a little star shape first. So we're going to make a little star shape. Um, so first... Uh, we like to work with a small ball, okay. just make about three of them at a time. The, the more you do, um, the more it's going to dry out, so you want to sort of use a small amount. Right. So I'm just going to work it a little bit, put it down, so this is like baking, because you're going to be rolling this out. <laughs> <laughs> it's making right. cookies bake. That's it. Basically. All right. Okay, so um, you'll see if it's been drying out, it'll actually um, start cracking. Okay, so you need to work with it quickly after yeah. taking it out of um, the packet. If it does crack, don't put water directly to it. All right. You want to actually just wet your hands and just work it through again. Just okay. you don't want to wet it too much. Yes, of okay. course. So we're going to roll it out so it's about three millimeters. Nice. Um, deep. All right. Okay, so and then of course, uh, obviously, you're nice. going to make us or use a star shape, but you can literally any shape you want. Any shape you want. Even freehand, right? Even freehand. That'd yes. be nice as well, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what you'll make, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the second step is now to um, lay your lace over. All right. So we'll choose a nice little pattern. Take your rolling pin again, and you go Just over. Just go over nicely. Yes. Nice and evenly, because you want that pattern to look quite even. Yep. I want to see what this looks like now. Oh, look at that. Cute little yeah, it's pattern. a nice imprint. All yeah. right. Um, and then you use your cookie cutter. So should we use this one? Um, and I like to just wiggle it around a bit just to make sure that it comes, it comes loose. All right. I can see now why it's important to work on this, this plastic yeah. surface. Right. Yeah, and also if it does get stuck, you can actually just yeah. bend it and try and get it off. Okay, so let's just make, make one more day. Oh, lovely. Okay, and just wiggle it around. Cool. Okay. So once you have your shape, I mean, obviously you need to now make a little hole for it, yeah. as I can so imagine. So then you use your yeah. um, society stick and just um, try not to make it too close yes. because it is brittle, so it will actually break. Um, these are, the clay is made out of paper, yes. so you don't want to put it in the oven to bake. You want to just leave it out in how the long, sun How somewhere. long does it take to dry? It takes between 24 to 48 hours. Okay. These I've actually made last night. And you can see that it's actually dried, but in yeah. the middle it's slightly damp. Okay, so, so leave it, give it, give it some time. Yeah. All right, cool. And then after you've done all that, you can really get creative and make something like this, which will really add that special touch to your Christmas tree. Karen, thank you very, thank you very, very much. much. Appreciate it. Log on to expressoshow.com. We'll show you all the steps there as to how to make this at home very special. But right now, it's time to announce a winner here on Expresso. Check it out.